Hey guys, here's Isabella Reese and Amazon Made Simple Podcast. And today at, at night in November, before Thanksgiving and during Thanksgiving break for our children. So we are having Brandon Young, the very special guest. And you know what's happening this year, this coming 2023? Brandon decided that he is going to start this year with a new goals and new approach because what's happening at the end of the year? We promised ourselves that we are we will be different. We are going to launch the new business. We are going to change something that we already have. We won't have we will not be making the same mistakes. We are going to invest because we didn't do it this year. So, Brandon Welcome to the show, and please let us know what is going on. Some like big news are happening right now, and I believe this is the first show when you are actually sharing. It is the first time that we're going out on a show and sharing, so thank you so much for having me. Um, and I love the way you put that, because it really is uh, the intention of the, of the show that we're going to put on is to uh, set the tone for the year. Uh, so we're, we're putting on an event. It's a two-day workshop. Uh, we're going to call it a conference, but it's not just a conference. It's uh, nothing like has been done before in the space, I don't think. Sounds cool. So what is the difference about this event? Because you told me it will be a lot of networkings and a lot of workshoppings. <laughs> so what are we doing there? Because yeah, when so, we've been going to sell and scale, we've been doing yoga and a lot of fun. When we've been going to other type like prosper, it's always like we're hammered there. So what is going to happen at your show? So as you know, I mean, you've spoken at a ton of events. We've spoken at dozens and dozens of events. We've sat in on hundreds of talks. And the biggest issue that I think we always find is that it's not long enough. We get on the stage for a half hour, 45 minutes, and we can very quickly go through a lot of surface level of, uh, you know, what we're doing or what to do. But we don't ever get enough time to dig into how to do it. And so when I thought about doing an annual event, I thought about, uh, what is going to make the most impact in the business of the attendees? And a workshop has always been the most valuable thing to sit in on. But again, a workshop is usually one topic, one, one, one snippet of all of these amazing learning curves and hard things that we do as sellers, as business owners, as brand owners. And so we started off with a thesis of, we don't want sponsors. We don't want anyone talking at you from stage. We want workshops. We want interactive workshops. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that we wanted a lot of networking. There's no sponsors, period. There's sponsors at the event, but there's no sponsors talking. Um, oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And, and and the other thing was the networking because, like, you and I go to Prosper and we might not even bother to go into any of the talks anymore unless we're the one on stage. Um, you know, or a friend is on stage and we want to go support them. But the reality is like we don't really learn enough from there anymore because the surface level stuff that they teach, you know, we already know it's the deeper, the deeper tips or the knowledge or the how to's or the worksheets like that's where you really learn or that we could get value from. So the other part was that there's we acknowledge that there's two different types of sellers facing probably three or four different types of sellers with reality. But there's two main types of sellers that are facing very different challenges. The first are the seven figure sellers, eight figure sellers that are doing, you know, three, five, seven million dollars and up. They have four to 10 employees. They want to learn how to go to 40 employees, how to bring their business to 50 million and 100 million. These are the same challenges that we've been facing in our business for the last year and a half, two years. And we had to hire an executive coach for the last two years. We've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in executive coaching and in consultants to learn how to run a business and scale. So things like uh, drawing out your org charts and, uh, and the KPIs, the job descriptions, and uh, how to interview properly, how to... Uh, That's so important. Like, listen... When like we are going to the events all the time, and we're like we're expecting to learn about Amazon hacks, tips, uh, whatever. But 
you're absolutely correct. When you're interviewing people to the to join this person to the team, you have to be going through this such a big due diligence that sometimes people are not even given the credit for. And the, if this is something that you want to put on a stage and to the networkings, I think that will be something blowing mind because people are forgetting about this key to success because they, one of the keys is your team. I love it. Yeah, the uh, I have to give a lot of credit to my wife there because she she took an entire training just on interviewing and and on how to interview because if you hire the wrong person in your business you lose 18 months of their salary that's the cost of hiring the wrong person for the wrong seat you can fire them in three to six months but then you have to find someone else hire them train them and you have so much effort that goes into that and so many resources that go into you know finding hiring training that the hiring the wrong person costs on average 18 months of that person's salary so you have to start with the right thesis of creating the right expectations, the job descriptions, and then asking the right questions in the interview to make sure that that's the right person for the right seat. Um, hiring A players, giving them a clear path for growth and for uh, for for you know to for for advancement. Uh, that's what we're going to talk about: is basically hiring associates that can become juniors, that can become seniors, and how do you do that? How do you grow your org chart from flat to uh, vertical? How do you add depth to it and how do you scale to a real business? Um, how do you set up annual goals and work backwards to quarterly goals, to leading activities, to identify resources that you need to hit those goals? These are all of the things that we're going to do in two long days with the executives, with those eight figure sellers or you know mid seven figure sellers that want to go to 50 and 100 million so that by the time they leave, they will have a plan, an actionable plan quarterly and annual for the next four quarters of how they're going to scale their business, what resources they need, how to hire, how to interview, what their org chart looks like, what those leading activities look like. Um, and that's, that's just on the point. one side. People, of the, would, on the people would talk about resources. So uh, let's assume I don't know anything. I don't know anything about the business. So tell me if I'm going to your event, of what type of resources I will be provided and that will help me to grow and scale my business from nine, just, just from, given from the seven right, figure to nine figure, for example. Yeah, just given the right mindset and worksheets, the actual uh, practice of implementation. So the way that we're planning on doing things on both sides is that you're not going to just be listening. You're going to be working on worksheets that are custom to your business while you're being guided through it. Then you're going to be broken down into small groups to discuss those exercises and case studies together so that you can identify the issues in your own business. So we're going to create um, these small pods of networking groups that can identify issues in people's businesses or their goals and really give them an idea because everyone is so different. Uh, what you learn when you start to build out an organization is that uh, and it's great that people are different because you need different people. If everyone was like me and my company, it would fail. I need an integrator and an operator that loves the details. I love to live in the vision and in the uh, and in the energy and 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 in the uh, you know that the, the 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 motivation of what the grand vision and where we're going is. And someone else says, "Wait, how are we going to get there?" And and I need to know every detail of how we're going to get there, right? So. We're going to help you identify and understand who you are, who the people around you, what type of people you should put around you, uh, what that what that uh, C-level team looks like, and then uh, basically give you those tools that you need to, to make those major advancements. That's awesome. Do you think you will do um, some type of not just workshops, but it will be like an actual training when people will be able to... Um, not just identify themselves, but they will be able to go through some type of pain points, work on themselves, and find out what was the actual root of cause, uh, like why they didn't have the success before. Yeah, and there is. There's a, exactly that exercise is one of the first things you do. Is you have to ask yourselves the question. What, like, look back at the last 12 months, 
what did you do right? What did you do wrong? What could you be doing better? And then that's where you start from. That's a baseline that you need to. You need to understand yourself. You need to understand your strengths, your weaknesses, and you need to understand what you did right and wrong in the business. Uh, 100%. You're, you're, you, it seems like you've done this before. Well, my first business was a business training center, and we've been everything we've been doing is the corporate training okay. and teaching people. I should have how you to... running the session. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I am down to do that. But the moment you started talking about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have goosebumps because that's exactly how I started my business career. Amazing. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so anyway, a lot of people that like you're running the huge community, you're the part of. Um, I don't know, one of the handful people who are like, when you name, like, who is the most famous Amazonian? Brendan Young will be one out of 10, 100%. So, and people who are, who are planning to come, they will keep looking for some type of tips beside the business. They will be keep looking for some like Amazon stuff. Are you planning to do something Amazon related only or e-commerce related only, or it will be based on the workshops about, like business in general. So that's, that's, that's exactly the point. So that's just half of the event or on that side. Now we're encouraging every other seller newbie to seven figures and all of the executives to bring their partners and bring their employees, to bring their staff, to bring their specialists. Or if you're just a specialist and you want to attend to level up, that's where you're going to go is to the other side, the other event. So okay. there's two events running simultaneously. One is that eight-figure um, business coaching and scaling event. And then the other side is the in-depth Amazon and e-commerce training side. Can I be at both at the same time <laughs> and learn? If you clone yourself, you could be at both. That's the thing. So that's yeah. why you need to bring a team member to really go do the exercises, take really good notes, like do the practice. Uh, and, and then that way they can come back to you. You can come back to them. And, and you'll, by the time you leave your session, if you're on the executive side, you're going to have, you're going to have KPIs, pl a plan, and then they're going to help you implement that with the deeper implementation of the strategies for the Amazon strategies. Right? So that's going to be A to Z. We're going to spend two full days going from product uh, selection and validation to the second half of the last day is going to be just all PPC. So launches, PPC for launch, PPC for growth, PPC for maintenance. Uh, we're going to talk about outside traffic and the influence on the out outside traffic, uh, the influence outside traffic has on, on keyword ranks. We're going to talk about dialing it in and really scaling the business fundamentally from the traffic and conversion side. But first you have to learn the fundamentals. So the goal would be that we go through with an interactive uh, lesson. Uh, we're there, you're learning it. And then we're going to go from sitting at like a desk where you're working to breaking into groups and doing group exercises and case studies together. And we're going to make it fun and competitive because we're going to each, each table is going to be competing against the other tables. And we're going to give out some really cool and insane prizes to the tables that do the best during these breakouts. Uh, I, I love it. Yeah. So we're going to make it fun, interactive, keep switching it up. People learn in different ways, but it's going to be engaging. It's going to be interactive. It's not going to just be two days of listening to someone talk. Uh, you're going to have to do work while you're there. That's amazing. And this is something that I love the most because um, it's been a while when I, I personally went to the training when you're coming. And by the end of the day, too, you have the real strategy of what you have to do. Because you've been doing the workshops, you are, uh, you got a lot of impression. You're like you're inspiring. You're being inspired, and you're like, okay, I'm ready. And like when you see people like at the end of the day two or sometimes day three, like they're inspired and they're ready to go. This is the best, I think, outcome you can have, guys, from the event. Uh, that Amazing. Brandon is, and, yeah, the and, brand and is you're, going you're to right on top of it that it's the other people around you that have that same energy that have the same um, drive, that are similar to you, this is what you need to surround yourself with because you're the average of the people you keep around you. And so if you're in the wrong room, it's going to kill your ability to grow. We're going to create accountability groups. You're going to network and meet so many amazing people. You're going to set goals. 
you're going to be uh, be able to follow up with each other to, to, to build these small communities that you make, these new friendships, rekindle old friendships, meet friends there, and then get in the groups, group chats and talk about, did you do this today? Did you do that this week? What were your plans for the week? You were going to do this. You were supposed to hire that person. How's that going? You know, there's going to be so many things that you are going to set and do, and you're going to push each other to do it. And uh, I can't wait to see the results. I really feel like this will be the the event that you lead that will make an immediate impact. You And, and you know team. what's also amazing, what I love about it too? Uh, we will have, it's still a three days event. It's two days, right? So you, uh, opening night and then two full days of workshops. Yeah. Two full, so it's two and a little bit days of the event. And when you understand that you have a very limited time to learn, and when you understand you have competitors at the next table, you like the ability of like oh your skills, they're genuinely speaking, are popping up. Your brain are working with a higher speed. You cannot imagine how fast you can think, how fast you can make the decision. And yes, those decisions will be on paper, but it doesn't matter. The moment you are pushing yourself as hard as you can that means your brain is working the energy around you is working your plan is about to be implemented and when everything is on paper you're generally speaking is ready to go on brandon i think it's the best approach you could just create to have this event and to make this event happen for the people who, generally speaking are not even thinking about it like it, it, it's great. I love it. I love it so much. I appreciate that so much. And anyway, everybody will want to drink. We will have a party. <laughs> so, <laughs> Realization yeah, is supposed to be there. There will be, there will be lots of drinking and partying at night. And during, you know, we'll have, we'll have uh, an opening ceremony. So I'm not supposed to spoil too much, but the, the theme is, the theme is about going to camp. And the reason I thought of that theme is because I want it to be fun. And I want it to be like we're all there to learn and do the same thing like we did if we went away to a, like a sleepaway camp. And so that, to stick to that theme, what we're going to do is we're going to have campfires. We're going to do s'mores. We're going to drink. We're going to have parties. We're going to have networking, speed networking and you dating. You have to start with that. Yeah, that's what kicks us off. <laughs> oh, my Lanta, that's amazing. This is so I believe we have to invite somebody to you who is going to play guitars next to the fire. And then it will be like we, that will be a real camp. I I actually planned on having potentially someone do that where they were gonna be walking around and playing guitar. Uh, but you know, we might just have a DJ, but it's not up, it's not finalized yet. Well, let me know. I can search for someone in Orlando because I'm literally living here. Well, I love all this. And um, Brendan, if people want to sign up, I know you have something for Black Friday. I'm not sure if we will be able to release this um, show before Black Friday, but I likely will release it the week after. So what's the best way to sign up? And how also people can qualify themselves if they're actually a good fit for the event? So if you're just selling or, you know, if you're serious, if you're really going to start the brand, you can go. But if you're not going to, if you're just deciding whether it's right for you, take my free class and figure it out before you go. This is going to be for people who are ready to dive in and implement and really understand the entire, want to learn the entire process. Each process of selling on Amazon at a very deep level. If you're running an e-com business or any business that's doing, you know, again, three to eight million dollars uh, and and up and you've got at least four to six or eight employees and you're looking to go to 40 um you know and double double or more over the next 12 months we're going to show you exactly how to do that this is going to be a hundred percent business training to scale your business on one side and on the other side it's the implementation and getting into the weeds of the the finer side of selling on amazon so the keyword research, the data analysis to make decisions, the stuff you're good at, uh, and then choosing those products, optimizing them, doing the PPC, the logistics, the, 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 the more detailed side of implementation of the Amazon business so that you can learn how to truly do PPC at a high level and drive the sales and growth of your business. That's amazing. 
Well, I believe at least half of the Orlando will be there. Yeah. Miami and Tampa as well. <laughs> Hopefully people travel in from all over the world. Yeah. Um, I want to give your listeners a code or people watching this yeah, uh, for, for a, a discount for $200 off. What is the best code? What is the code? You can tell me the code right well, now. Well, I have code with the data dive, which is Bella. And Let's we do Bella. If Bella we can again. see Bella again, then that's awesome. Bella it is. We'll save you $200. Now, we do have an early bird that ends December 1st for an additional $300 on top of that. So okay. we do we do want to make sure that if, if people listen to this right away to try to take advantage of that early bird. Gotcha. And the event is happening in January? January 8th through 10th in Orlando. You want to arrive the morning of the 8th. Check-in uh, is is the 8th afternoon, and then the opening uh, thing is 8th at night. We have a party Monday night, and then we have a big party Tuesday night, probably off-site. Uh, we have a couple options there, depending on how many people sign up and some some other things. So we have a, we're weighing a couple options on that second that that last night decompression that that really really nice party that we want people to be able to get together after two long days of working and racking their brains. Let's go have some fun. Perfect. So guys, again, link is right here. The code Bella. You will get two hundred off on top of two hundred off before December thirty first. You can get three hundred off before December thirty first, right? Uh, uh, no, November thirty first. Uh, before December November 1st, December, December 1st. Before yeah, December yeah. 1st, sorry. Before December 1st. 300 off is the is the early bird plus your 200. Early. So they could save 500. Yeah, you can you can save 500. And uh, I will actually announce it before. So if someone <laughs> will be able to do it before the, uh, we will release the event, um, the show. And uh, on top of that, I personally recommend to go just because it's different. Everything that Brandon is doing is different. Data dive is different. I think I'm living inside of the data dive with data <laughs> dive. I am falling asleep with data dive. And like when I'm talking to people about some type of the project, I'm like, did you use data dive? And they're like, no, or yes. I'm like, well, if you didn't, you have to, because with what Brendan is creating, it's something different that help you to grow your business on the way and at the angle that you cannot even imagine or think because sometimes when you have something obvious day to day, you have to look at your business, at your products with a different, at a different angle. And Brendan, thank you so much. I definitely will be there. And uh, we'll Can't just see you there as usual. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Thank you guys. Sign up right here and see you there at the event. See you guys there.